to Reverend Father Nathaniel B. Gomez, School Principal, to Dr. Maria Lina Iparwa, Vice President for Academics, to Mrs. Jepil May Marinu, Ma'am, Dean of the College of Criminology Department and the mother of Costa Criminology, uh, to the Criminology Instructors, Mr. Yushma Kenizares, to Attorney Ruben Llosa Sir, to Ma'am Celine Baco, and to the rest of the instructors, to all the faculty and staff of COSCA, students, friends, parents, to the newly appointed cadet officers, Badge Exodus. Ma'am and Sir, a good and a a good and pleasant day to all of you. It is an honor for me to be your guest speaker uh, for this program and I'm, I'm very thankful uh, that you have given me a chance that to speak, to give a message uh, to the theme uh, for this program and theme Stewardship, Compassion to Motivate Followers. It's a very nice title. Stewardship, Compassion to Motivate Followers. Compassion is your desire deep in your heart and motiv to motivate followers. Now, mo motivation, in my own understanding, is motivation is, an, ide is an, an idea or something which it drives you to perform an activity. Now, I will be straightforward to you guys. The question is, how can you motivate your followers? And how compassionate you are towards motivating your followers or how compassionate you are towards motivating yourself now always remember that you are motivating your followers for them to become the best the best version of themselves now based on my experience when I become an officer a cadet officer and former chief of criminology is that these are there are two things I always imply two things appreciate appreciate and acknowledge appreciate and acknowledge no appreciate the strength and acknowledge the weakness appreciate them when they ac accomplish a certain task that you have given them or the situation gives them. Now, always appreciate your lower class. You appreciate yourself. Do not be greedy. Always give them appreciation. If, if they deserve an appreciation, give it to them. When you appreciate, when you appreciate a person after he achieved or he accomplished something, is that he will be motivated that that the next task or orders that you give them he will achieve that he will he will be uh, he will have the motivation to achieve that trust me trust me i really saw people when they are being appreciated they are really motivated to do things whatever comes their way so the next the next one acknowledge Una, the first thing, appreciate. The next thing is acknowledge. Now, acknowledge, acknowledge their weakness. Acknowledge the weakness. Now, lead them. When you when you saw a lower class or yourself in a weak or in in a situation that you are weak or at certain tasks that you that you have weakness in it. Now lead them, lead yourself, teach them on how to overcome this weakness and to help them or guide them to turn this weakness into strength. Lead them, guide them, guide them. Uh, uh, help them, guide them that this weakness turns into strength now in the future this appreciation and the acknowledgement appreciation of strength and acknowledgement of weakness 
in the future, time will come that your lower class cadets and subordinates ones will be thanking you, saying, Sir or ma'am, you molded me into something, something better than myself. And you gave me opportunity to see myself in spite of obstacles, I remain positive. Do you get me? In life, we undergo or we undergo pains. Now, you, you, as yourself or your lower class, teach them, because pains is just an abbreviation of positive attitude in negative situations. Now, let me say it again: pains, P-A-I-N-S. Positive attitude in negative situations. So, teach them. To the officers, batch exodus, remember these two words and put it in mind and put it in heart. You will use that. Appreciate and acknowledge. To the lower class, let me let me say you this. Let me say you this. Trust the process and learn from your upper class. To trust, always trust the process. Whether it's very, very painful, very tiring. Now every day is a learning day. You will learn from your upper class. You will learn. Uh, you will learn from your mentors, your professors, and you will learn from yourself. Because the greatest enemy is not your upper class man. It is yourself. It is yourself. So you will have to overcome that. So, uh, to the officers and to all that is watching my message today, whatever you are, whomever you are, and whatever problems you have right now, let me tell you this. Get up every day. Get up not just from your bed, but get up from yourself. Stand, lead, and inspire. Get up. Get up from yourself. Stand, lead, and inspire. Those might be, or maybe the questions, or maybe the, might be the answers of our questions. How can you motivate your followers and how compassionate you are towards uh, motivating them? So, and do not forget our mighty motivator, God. Do not forget Him. Always thank Him. For he motivates us every day so before I end up my message let me thank my motivators in my life number one God my family my parents my mother and father my brother and my sister to my future wife Bessie to my teachers my professors mom mom Jeff Pales here Shmad, Sir Liosa Dr. Sohor and all other professors my upper class cadets, my seniors, and all the people around me, thank you and I salute you all. God bless. God bless to all of you. Before I end up, let me tell you this, newly appointed cadet officers. Listen, listen, for this is for you. Be a man whose leadership is anchored to his faith. Let me, say it, uh, let me say it again. Be a man whose leadership is anchored to his faith. So strengthen your faith, ma'am and sir. So that's all. And may God bless us all. Mabuhay ang Team Koska. Mabuhay ang Criminology Koska. And God bless. Thank you. Good day.